Some of y'all kids and y'all are last whoop. And of course, we won't have to come across these disrespectful kids again. And it's also the parents' fault for not whooping that ass long enough. Let me show y'all something. This here is called a belt. It can be used for a lot of things. Not for just keeping your pants together. It's also used for a great weapon of ass destruction. And it can be used in the most proper occasions. For instance, if your kid decides to act up in a store, here's a good old solution. You should just go ahead and take his hand and go into the bathroom one good time and just pop that ass one good old time. Or let's just say that you told him to do something and he just straight fussed you out. And when I was going to, if I did that, I probably would have got my ass popped. You know, he should have got his ass popped too. Oh, and my personal favorite, if your child decides to throw a tantrum anywhere in public and the whole world is watching him, I want you to take that belt and just pop that ass one good time. Because there's no reason for kids to act that way nowadays. Now, I know if I would have acted like them kids, I probably wouldn't be sitting here right now because my ass probably be like it, it wouldn't even be on my body at this point. Now I don't know why now some parents are deciding to not whoop their kids because really, if you notice, you are doing the right thing. Now you don't have to just use just a belt. No, even though it is a good solution to just like take one get hit and just pop that ass one good time. But wait, there are other weapons of ass destruction. You have the switch, you have the floss water, you have your hand, you have a comb. Basically, anything within your primary reach, as long as you know how to use that weapon properly. And to just not go overboard and just like hit your child with a remote or just bash their head to the wall. Man, cause some of y'all, some of y'all take y'all abuse to a whole new level. It's to a whole, it's, it's like a whole new world of abuse y'all putting out there. I mean, now, it's okay to whip your child. Yes, just do not go that far out to whip your child's ass because, I mean, you, you want them to know what they did was wrong. You don't want your child to be scared of you that bad now. I mean, you're supposed to be scared of your parent, but you, you don't want to be too scared that you just don't want to be in the same room with them. And being whooped is not always a bad thing. Now, if you grow up later on in life, you realize that, man, if I hadn't got my ass so I probably wouldn't be the person I am right now. Let me tell y'all a little story. I had, I got one ass when I will never forget. And allow me to title this my one memorable ass open. Okay, here's what had happened, right? I was in second grade and, you know, we had usually had a spelling test on Fridays. And there was this one word I could not figure out how to spell. And, you know, I had a see-through binder. So what I did was, you know, I put the paper like through the binder because hopefully as a kid, you think that she would not see it. As a kid, keyword, you think she would not see it, but she did anyways. Now I got away with it when it came to looking up the word. Now when I tried to put it back under the desk, she had seen me. When she had seen me do that, I was like, damn. So she had, of course, you know, she had to call my mom and everything. And trust me, that was a long walk to my road because I mean you know, as a child when you get your phone call you hope your parent ain't home but boy was I wrong and then the thing is in the house we had like this one sorry about that the phone had to ring I had to get there for a second anyways back on topic you know what I'm saying that we had this long about this, about this yard long switch and now every black kid knows if the switch is green that jump will not break you man, break your ass, but it's not gonna break itself. I mean, that jump was like, it was like an indestructible, skinny ass piece of wood. It, it would not break. I'll try my hardest to break it. The jump would not break. But, anyways, yeah, she got me when I got, when I first walked through the door. She got me when I had tried to get something to eat. She got me before I took a shower. I mean, after I took a shower, then before I went to bed, she got me the next morning when I went to school. And you know when you get your ass up as a kid, you, that's the last thing you want to do is go down to your bus stop crying. 
You just walking there mad and stuff, trying to bite your lip. And then just... You're like, and then all your friends is going to look at you like, what's wrong with this nigga? And they had to ask that one question you hate to hear. You get your ass up, didn't you? And then you just sitting there mad and ready to go into Super Saiyan mode. <laughs> Shut up, man. Man, I miss those days. Anyways, long story short, parents, please get back to just whooping that ass, please. Because now, if I ever go in a store and I see your child act up and I happen to have a belt around me at the time, I'm going to just do yourself a favor and just pop that ass myself. Because there ain't no way for your child to act that way. I mean, look at me. I got weapons when I was little, and I turned out sort of okay. I mean, I ain't saying I'm fully perfect, but just like sort of every now and then, you know, you do some, some dumb things, and then it's just, it, it, it's just a long process. So, anyways, y'all know what to do. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video to wherever you want to share it to. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if y'all have any video suggestions. Y'all know how to follow me on social media. Y'all can follow me on Insta, Twitter, Snapchat, and y'all can also follow me. Well, you can add me as a friend on Facebook. And, okay, yeah, that's about it. Y'all know what to do. ABC, out. And remember, every now and then, there's nothing wrong for you to just pop that ass one good time. Y'all take care now.